It was definitely more wind than anything with this latest round of storminess. We're still looking at a little bit of moisture out there. The white on the radar map indicates isolated snow showers and a little bit of rain between here and Burley. A little bit of rain mixed in, of course, with the dust. <laughs> I don't know about your car, but mine sure does need wash now. The reason for all the wind, very strong cold front already over southern Utah, so it did not waste any time moving over the Jim State. That's why I got so windy last night, early this morning. High pressure, though, building in off the Oregon coast will continue to move towards East Idaho, and that means a lot less wind. Thumbs up there, right? And also warmer temperatures. Wait until you see Friday's high. Yeah, we're going to warm up nicely around here. So your forecast tonight, well, not warmer. In fact, colder than last night. Once that wind dies down, temperatures will have a chance. The air will have a chance, actually, to get quite a bit colder. So we're looking at a low in Pocatello of 22 degrees. You may be thinking, well, is this typical for us this time of year? No, actually, a little bit on the chilly side. We should be about you know, 5 to 10 degrees warmer, at least, than what you see here. St. Anthony with a low of 18, even colder in Stanley. Low there tonight of 4 degrees. We still have those isolated snow showers for the upper highlands in western Wyoming. Lows, though, getting down with the single digits in Yellowstone. Jackson Island Park, colder than last night with a low temperature of 13. Incom, you'll be in the lower 20s with isolated snow showers this evening for the southeast highlands. We got teens, though, in places like Soda Springs and Montpelier. And then tomorrow, ah, lighter winds. We'll take it. <laughs> you won't get any argument or any uh, pushback from me when it comes to that. Montpelier at 39, so it's a little bit chilly. Downey, you'll top out at 48. We got lighter winds in the forecast for the upper highlands of western Wyoming. No precipitation, no snow like what we had today in Jackson. We picked up a little bit of snow off and on throughout the day. Afton, only 36 and barely above freezing in Yellowstone. And a sunnier day for the Central Mountains. Highs will range from the mid-40s to the lower 50s. So a little warmer than it was this afternoon, at least. We'll hit 52 in Chalice. We got 50s for the Snake River playing tomorrow, and we got a lot less wind. <laughs> yeah. So it'll actually feel like the, the high that we have. 51 for an afternoon temperature is where we're going to top out in Pocatello, right at 59 Old Falls. Southeast Idaho, Chevy Dealer's seven-day forecast. Looking ahead, the warming trend really kicks in on Friday, 72. It's just too bad we can't keep that 70s going through the weekend. We got the week return of wind. Not what you wanted to hear. In fact, four days of it, we get even cooler and we could see rain and snow next Monday and Tuesday. But until then, we'll take this nice little break from the wind and we'll hit 70 Friday in Idle Falls and then winds increase through the weekend with chances of rain and snow Monday and chances of rain and snow on Tuesday. Blackfoot, your warmest day coming just like the rest of us right before the weekend. You'll top out at 71. We're a good 20 degrees cooler starting Saturday. We'll get even cooler as that cooler wind moves in and really starts to crank up with a potential of some wet weather going back to work Monday and Tuesday. Teton area, warmest day will be Friday, 57, and then a cooling trend. I know the timing. Why couldn't this be like after the weekend? It just never works out that way. At least late, lately it doesn't seem like it. Chance of snow starting Sunday with chances of snow through Tuesday. Central Mountains, Chalice, Salmon and Mackey up to 72 on Friday. So definitely a warming trend, but we quickly turn cooler. Could see some rain late in the day Saturday with chances of rain and snow and a lot of wind Sunday clear through Tuesday.